your shadow side power is on the rise. Get ready to release your shadow side. This is going to be a week full of creativity increasing due to your shadow side. I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. This is the week of August 30th through September 5th. So we're moving into September. And this is your angelic horoscope transmission from the planetary and zodiacal angels that are going to be focused on this week. Now, the month of September, as we've said before, has a lot of events going on. We've got the eclipse on the 13th uh, of the sun, the partial solar eclipse of the sun on the 13th this month. And we've got the blood moon on the 27th of September, if you're using Eastern Daylight Time, if you're utilizing Greenwich Mean Time, it's on the 28th. And this is going to be, you know, an intense month, so we need to all sort of get ready. Now, this week, there are a lot of smaller aspects happening, which we can focus on to sort of begin to prepare ourselves for all the events that are going to go on in September of 2015. So let's get started with the 31st. And this is, again, if you're using Eastern Daylight Time, on the 31st, we have a sun opposing Neptune. If you're using which means time that's on the first. This sun opposing Neptune is uh, the Archangel Michael, the planetary angel Michael, opposing the planetary angel Asariel. That's the sun opposing Neptune. What this is going to cause is because the sun is right now in Virgo and Neptune is transiting retrograde through the sign of Pisces. We're going to have all errors are going to be brought into the light of day to oppose faith above reason that some consider to be superstitious. So the mind, the intellect of the mind, and the focus on the mind and the light on all would be errors will be focused on to try to overcome people who are thought to be superstitious that are actually just exhibiting, according to Kabbalah, faith above reason. On the first, Venus conjunct Mars. Now, Venus is retrograde in Leo, and that's conjunct Mars in Leo. That's the angel of Venus, Anael, befriending the angel of Mars, Samael. That's relationships of all kinds begin to unravel due to pride. And you'll find kinship between the pride aspect and those who desire honor. So people who feel that others are not honoring them because Venus is retrograde in Leo will, be, will sort of break up some of their older relationships and kind of befriend those who they feel will help. Or, or, or elevate their honor and their pride. That's due to the Mars in Leo aspect of this Venus retrograde in Leo conjunct Mars in Leo. On the 5th of September, this week, that's Saturday, we have the Sun trine Pluto aspect. And right now, Sun is in Virgo trine Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. So that's the mighty archangel Michael aligning with the planetary angel of Pluto who is Azrael. Now how does this Sun in Virgo trying Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, how does that affect us? What happens is all errors are brought into the light of day while the alliances are made with those capable of elevating your status. So that, again, that sun in Virgo has a tendency to shine a bright light, the bright light of day upon any error. So that is going to uh, cause people to want their status to be elevated and to make alliances with those who can do just that, who can raise their honor, raise their uh, status, raise their uh, class, economic class, socioeconomic class, whatever, that's what people are looking for. On the 5th also, this is Saturday on the 5th, September 5th, we have the last quarter moon, that's a waning moon in Gemini, and it's at 5.55 a.m., and it's on the 5th, and it's 2015, whole lot of numbers going on there. So we have the zodiac angels and house 
uh, that we're going to give you for that. So what we, we're going to go over each sign, and we're going to give you from Aries through Pisces, all the signs of the zodiac, we're going to give you each one, we're going to give you the zodiac angel, and we're going to give you the what house it will affect for your sign, because it will affect each sign differently. We're going to do this utilizing the last quarter moon in Gemini just to give you a little bit of taste of how we can um, best help you specifically to your sign. Now this is going to cause this, this last quarter moon in Gemini is going to cause thinking and intellect and reason to wane because of the mighty Archangel Gabriel pulling away from this zodiac angel of Gemini who is Ambriel. So what we want to do is understand that the shadow side of the personality will come up. Thinking and intellect and reason will wane in favor of the shadow side of the personality. So this is in general. So which house it affects will be where your thinking will wane and where people will tend to lose their reason. So we want to make sure we have a heads up so that we make sure we all behave appropriately and we know which part of our lives that maybe the more uh, shadow side emotions will take precedence over the great light of reason. So what you want to do is invoke the angel of the Lord or the angel of God or the angel of the presence. And we'll uh, show you here how to do that. To invoke the angel of the Lord, what you want to use is Chronicles 3221. You can also use Numbers 2016 whichever you feel, or you can utilize both of those if you like. Now we're going to look at the zodiac angel and correspondence for each house. We're going to give you the sign, the zodiac angel, and the house that the thinking or the light of reason will be waning in, or you'll have more of a shadow side effect on, on the house depending on your sign. And this is where you want to shine the light of the angel of the Lord or the angel of God or the angel of the presence. All right, now for Aries, we have Melchidael. And Melchidael, the waning of thinking and the shadow side aspect will occur in the third house of transportation, messaging, and group dynamics, Aries. So you understand that this will affect your communications. It'll affect any type of messaging, texting, sending letters, talking to people, any kind of communications, group dynamics, the way people communicate in groups is going to be affected in a shadow side way with Gabriel pulling back with this waning moon, this last quarter moon. So what you want to do is invoke the angel of the Lord, uh, which some say is Jesus Christ, some say it is uh, the angel of God, some call it the angel of the presence, but you want to invoke that, that being in or that messianic being in order to have the light be shown so that communications don't become so shadow side that people then become angry and have maybe some kind of fight where there doesn't need to be. Next we have for Taurus we have the zodiac angel Asmodel and this waning of thinking or shadow side effect is going to occur in the second house. It's going to occur in your second house of what you own, what you possess, your monies and your investments, those types of things, Taurus. So these things are very important to you because this is the house that, that defines you. So again, we want to invoke the angel of the Lord in each of these houses because of the pulling away of the moon, the pulling, the waning of the Archangel Gabriel and that causes a shadow side effect. So we want to invoke the angel of the Lord, the angel of the presence, or Jesus Christ to shine a light in that area of your life so things don't become so shadowy that things become difficult for you. Now Gemini, the zodiac angel is Ambriel. The waning or thinking influence, uh, this is going to affect the shadow side will be placed over like a veil. The It will be on the it, first house of appearances and focus on the self. So 
how you appear to others is going to be in effect. You're going to uh, feel that sh the way others see you is, is being dimmed, that the shadow side has come over you, that the light of Gabriel is not shining on you any longer. So what you need to utilize is, again, the angel of the Lord, the angel of the presence, the angel of God or Jesus Christ to shine a light in that area of your life so all will be well with you. For the sign of cancer, the zodiac angel Muriel, we have a waning of thinking influence in the 12th house of spirituality, that's religious retreats, creative community events for you. Uh, so just understand that there will be a, a difficulty in that area because of the Archangel Gabriel pulling away with this waning moon in this 12th house of spirituality for you, Cancer, you specifically. So you want to, again, shine that light of that angel of the Lord, angel of God, that Jesus Christ or angel of the presence into that area of your life. For Leo, the sign of Leo, we have the zodiacal angel Virchiel, and there's a waning of thinking influence or a shadow, shadow like, shadow side influence in the 11th house with this last quarter moon in Gemini. And this is the house, the f 11th house is the house of reputation, friends, and community activities for you, Leo. So you want to make sure you shine that presence of Jesus Christ, that angel of the Lord, that angel of God into that part of your life, that angel of the presence, so all will go well in this aspect of your life. For the sign Virgo, we have the zodiac angel Hamaliel. The waning of thinking influence, or the shadow side, is going to be placed in your 10th house. We have Gabriel in a waning, pulling away, and so what we have is a shadow side in your house during this last quarter moon in Gemini we have this the light being pulled out of your tenth house now this is of course minimal but we're just utilizing this as a way to get ready for all the events again that are going on in September in general so this is your tenth house it will be affected by the shadow side influences so this is going to affect your social standing, your position, and your fame, Virgo. This is specific for you. So you want to invoke the angel of the Lord, the angel of the presence, Jesus Christ, or the angel of God, whatever you perceive that form of messianic light being to be. You can want to shine that into your life in that tenth house for you. For Libra, the sign of Libra, this is the zodiac angel Zuriel. For this last quarter moon in Gemini, we have a waning of thinking in the ninth house. And that's the deep meaning of life, spiritual path, and life purpose. And with the north node in Libra, this is going to affect you quite a lot. So remember, this is going to be a shadow side effect, sort of placing sort of a shadow, casting a shadow over your ninth house. So what you want to do is bring in the light of the angel of the Lord, the angel of God, Jesus Christ, the angel of the presence, however you want to define that messianic presence in your life. And it will be helpful because of this shadow aspect. Because again, we have Gabriel, the Archangel Gabriel, sort of pulling away because it's a waning moon. In that's the last quarter moon in Gemini. For Scorpio, the sign of Scorpio, we have the zodiac angel Barchiel. Now the specific house that this sort of waning of thinking, waning of reason, and the shadow side aspect will be this sort of shadow cast over, it will affect for Scorpio your eighth house, your eighth house of birth, sex, death, and shared monies, or even the debts that you owe. Okay, Scorpio, so this is going to affect you in that part of your life. So in order to bring the light of reason into this aspect of your life, you're going to want to utilize the angel of the Lord. You're going to want to invoke or invoke or invoke the angel of the presence, Jesus Christ, or the angel of the presence, however you perceive that messianic aspect to be, that, that light of reason that shines in your life. You're going to want to invoke that. For the sign of Sagittarius, we have the zodiac angel Ednachiel, and that is going to affect 
this waning of thinking due to the last quarter moon in Gemini and the fact that the, the, the Archangel Gabriel is pulling back a bit and there's a shadow cast over the part of your life that is the seventh house and that is the house of committed relationships, litigation, partnerships, you know, contracts, business or any kind of partnership contract, there's going to be a shadow cast over that aspect of your life. You're going to want to bring in the light of reason to the angel of the Lord, the angel of God, the angel of the presence, Jesus Christ, whatever you feel, however you want to invoke that messianic being of light into your life to bring reason into your life. That's what you want to use. For the sign of Capricorn, we have the zodiac angel Hanael. And this is the waning of the thinking influence in your sixth house. That's your sixth house of your health habits. It will affect your daily disciplines and your the things that you feel you want to make sure are secure. So any kind of security checks, things like that. This will be a shadow cast over this, a shadow side aspect. So a lot of sneaky things going on. So you want to shine the light of reason due to this last quarter moon in Gemini when the Archangel Gabriel, because of the moon, the light is decreasing. So you want to shine the light of reason in the angel of the Lord, invoke the angel of the Lord or the angel of the presence of God or the angel of God or Jesus Christ, whatever you perceive that messianic reason, light of reason to be. And for Aquarius, for the sign of Aquarius, we have the zodiac angel Cambrael. We have the waning of thinking in the fifth house. This shadow side sort of cast over your fifth house of children, creativity, love, or romance, your creative projects, the things you want to create, the things you have created, the things you are creating. What you want to do is understand that you need to invoke the light of reason because the shadow side is going to be cast over this fifth house. You want to invoke the angel of the Lord. You want to invoke the angel of the presence of God, Jesus Christ, the angel of God, whatever you perceive that messianic light of reason to be. That's the savior. For the sign of Pisces, we have the zodiac angel Amnitziel. And Amnitziel, uh, that zodiac angel, of course, we have Gabriel, who's, going, who's affects with the light of the full moon. But when the moon is waning, and right now, this is a last quarter waning moon, a last quarter moon in Gemini. So that's Gabriel pulling away from Ambriel. So what we have here is a situation with you, specifically Pisces, in your fourth house. That's the house of family, hearth, and home. So this is your home. A shadow will be cast over it due to Gabriel pulling away to the waning moon. It's the last quarter, but we just want to, it's not a dark moon, but we're just, and it's not a new moon, but we're just giving you an exercise here to show you how this can be done to assist you, specifically Pisces and your zodiac angel Nitzia. So again, this is your fourth house that will be affected during this last quarter moon on the fifth in Gemini. And for you, again, it's your fourth house. It's very important things. It's your home, your hearth, and the things that are closest to your heart, your family. So you want to invoke the light of reason. You want to invoke uh, the uh, angel of the Lord. Jesus Christ, the angel of the presence, the angel of God, whatever you perceive that messianic light of reason being to be. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. This is your weekly angelic horoscope transmission for all 12 signs. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the astrology angel. Thank you for joining us and join us again next week.